Hi folks, it's the Smile Mullah here. Today I want to talk to you about actively aerated tea. This is highly beneficial for our plants. To produce highly nutrient plants or vegetables, we take a two-pronged approach. The first one is our grow mix, which is very rich in nutrients and microbes, which gives the plants a good head start. The second prong is actively aerated tea. Actively aerated tea, when applied weekly to our plants, really gives our plants a boost. The way to make actively aerated tea is very simple and provided you follow a few basic rules, you will get it right and you will be able to feed, foliar feed these to your vegetables, get maximum benefit for your plants and therefore maximum benefit as far as your health is concerned. Okay, the basics for making an actively aerated tea is firstly, you've got to have a very high quality vermicompost in there. We put in 2.5% vermicompost to the volume of water. So for 10 liters of water, we use half a liter of vermicompost. Now, this vermicompost bag that I have is a paint strainer bag that I bought from Bunnings for about $3. The pump I use, I bought for $25 and the rest of the stuff I will show you just now. Okay, first basic is you've got to have a very good quality vermicompost. A very good comp quality vermicompost comprises one, uh, a good range of microbes, a very good range of nutrients in the vermicompost and the absence of pathogens in it. The way we do this is a two-stage process. The first thing is we take feedstock and we thermophilically compost it to get rid of any weed seeds and any pathogens. The second part is then to make sure that it is pro the vermicompost is fed to earthworms and is very well processed so that any other pathogens are eliminated. We don't want pathogens in our vegetables because they can affect us. Okay, the next thing that we need to make sure is the water. If you have tap water, you need, it has chloramines in it. That's what the council puts into it to keep it pure. We put in a handful of our grow mix in the, uh, in the water and leave it standing for about an hour. The humic acid in the grow mix binds the chloramines and therefore they will not affect our microbes. The next thing we do is we make sure that the bucket we're using is very very clean. So I would wash it in hot water and soap to get rid of any impurities in the bucket. This is very important because we have an actively aerated water which is highly oxygenated and therefore any germs will multiply and affect us if they are in the tea and therefore in our vegetables. The third thing is temperature. The higher the temperature, the faster microbes uh, multiply. Conversely, the higher the temperature, the less oxygen is absorbed by the water. What this means is that you could have a crash whereby the high number of microbes will use up the oxygen and therefore the tea will become anaerobic which will not be good for our plants. It's very important therefore that we, the ambient temperature outside is less than 20 degrees centigrade for this, uh, for the brew. Therefore, I brew it overnight and in the shade so that the temperature does not ex exceed 20 degrees centigrade. The next thing that we have to take into account is the foods that we provide for the microbes to eat while this tea is brewing. The first thing we use is fish hydrolysate. We take 10 ml of the hydrolysate and feed it into the tea. Make sure it's hydrolysate and not fish emulsion. The, then we use 10 ml of molasses. Again 10 ml into there. Now once a month only we put in one gram of tricalp which we also supply. Look, this is very powerful stuff and therefore you only put it roughly once 
every four times you make the brood. That's once a month. And finally, we have our very rich veggie booster pellets. And we take 30 grams of this and add it to 10 liters of the water. In this way, we're making a very rich brew, which will be excellent for our plants. I will now show you some of our plants. Thank you. Hi, these plants are 18 days old. Uh, I transplanted them from seedlings. Here we have kale, broccoli, my shards, lettuce, spinach, chicory, eggplant. Uh, the eggplant and the tomato plant I transplanted from pots that I used. The rest of them were from seedlings and as you can see they're all doing brilliantly the point is this we are not looking for speed of growth although this happens quite rapidly here what we're looking for is the health of the plants because we want it to be nutrient rich and really help us as far as our health is concerned uh, what we're doing is we're creating the ideal environment for plants to become nutrient rich by giving them a very rich nutrient rich soil with high in microbes as well as the vermicompost tea. We, we feed these plants the compost tea once a week. What we found is that the more consistently you do it, the better your plants become. You can miss one or two weeks out and it will not affect the plants materially. However, it's better to be consistent. And the way I feed the plants is very simple. I put the aerated tea into a can and then simply feed the plants with it. Uh, the aerated tea takes me about 10 minutes to prepare and then I obviously aerate it for about 15 hours and then I feed the plants. Uh, maintenance takes me, because I'm quite good at it now, about half an hour a week, but it should not take you more than an hour a week. And obviously you can harvest every day and enjoy the benefits of your tea. What we're doing is we're creating superfoods because all these are very highly nutritious and will really boost our health. What I'd like to see is at least as many of you as possible growing these vegetables and really boosting your health and hopefully you will never get as sick as I did and you will get the benefit of being healthy like I have now become as a result of following the system. Thank you.